this right here may be the biggest opportunity that we have ever landed as a family in the flower farming industry. It may be a trajectory in how we do business on the flower farm once I come home. You know, and as a small flower farmer, it's hard enough trying to figure out how you're gonna get your flowers 30 minutes down the road, an hour down the road. And not only that, maybe even two states, but I'm going 970 miles south of where our homestead's at. Here's the crazy part. I'm meeting with a CEO of one of the largest importers of specialty cut flowers on the southeastern part of the United States. We need to figure out the secrets. What leaves us behind? How do we compare to a larger farm that is? What, what can we do? What's the advantages and disadvantages to a small flower farmer trying to uh, scale their business and create more volume? We're going to figure it out. All right, I just woke up and today is the big day. Today is when we figure out what's going on for us back up north. Super tired when I got in last night, but they gave me a nice room. I'm on the fifth floor, the highest level, and they gave me a double here. But let's see. Nice little bathroom, nice shower. And it looks like I'm about 15 or 12 miles from the beach. I think it was 12 miles from the beach. And it was still busy last night, but I walked all the way over to Wendy's over there. And the lady told me, yeah, maybe some of you guys drop in the comments below if you are from Miami, uh, because she told me that I should not be out walking around that late, uh, especially by myself. They're picking me up in like 20 minutes. So hopefully he's going to let me record some in there. You know what's crazy and I was just thinking about? I finally made it to my destination, Miami. But I'm not here for some... I'm here for the weirdest thing you could be here for. Flowers. Who comes to Miami for flowers? It's few and far between. I never hear anybody talking about it. And flowers, I was telling my wife last night that flowers have got us this far. Which I think is pretty cool. I'm even wearing my flower guy shirt today. I guess my coffee's ready. Doesn't look too hot. Sort of looks like hot chocolate. All right, it's good. So he is packing some boxes right now and they have allowed me to be able to come in here to learn how to do this. Right now he's wrapping them up and he's insulating it with uh, some sort of insulation to keep it warm, right? To keep this warm. And I think it's a tropical, is that right Noel? Yep, it's a kind of cold mix. Okay, okay. So he's packing these boxes up right now and I think they're going to go out to the other shipping department but what he does here is he wraps them up. And that's what we're entirely here for, is to learn how to package everything. And I'm wearing this big, thick jacket. Yeah, we're in Florida, but it's cold in here. It's cold. It's probably 37, 39? 40, 40. 40, 40 degrees in here. And uh, look behind us here. There is a ton, ton of packages here that just keeps coming in and out, in and out. And he has a constant job all day long is to be able to just pack these boxes with this, like, uh, what is it? It's just paper? It's crinkle paper. Crinkle paper, and that's to uh, keep everything from moving. And what we're here today is to just figure out how exactly can we ship these dahlias. Because we all know that dahlias is one of the hardest to ship, especially when it comes to dry packing. So look at these roses over here. They have roses in these Perconas, which, these have water in them? Yes. Right, as of right now they do, right? Yeah. They got okay. So as of right now, they have water in them and uh, this is how they're keeping them going. And is it, this is all artificial, correct? I know, yeah, I'm just like. The top, yeah, it's artificial. Yeah, but the actual blue itself, is it sprayed?
This is really cool here because uh, it's this is something that's grown at home. We have queens and lace right here, but look at this. Look how long that is. That's probably at least two and a half foot right there. Do you think that, Noel? Probably two and a half foot. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, it's, it's unreal how tall this stuff is. We could never get anything like that unless it was domestically grown, but everything that we were foraging on the sides of the road, you know, it's not fertilized or anything, but look at that. I mean, if they're selling it like that, Maybe we can ship it down here. They have everything here. The peonies, look how, look how good those peonies look. And they have them in ball. See, if you look, it just shows color. You, that's the only thing that you see. They don't sell them when they're all the way out. How many people grow lilac? Leave it in the description because I want to know. Let's let's look at lilac for a minute. So they actually have plastic here, and you can see inside of there that it's very tightly. Uh, the buds are still tight. Look at my nose. It's just getting red as can be. It's cold in here. I got shorts on. Look, my legs are hanging out. Got shorts on, but they let me borrow their jacket. Where does it say? Oh. Anyways. What do you think is in these boxes behind me? Anyone? Drop it in the comments below. Well, I'll tell you what they are. They're Gerber daisies all the way around here. They're stacked vertical because they're losing space. And you can see behind me that there's so many other different varieties coming into here. They literally have an airstrip out back and the airstrip comes in, not at this particular section, but across the street, there's an airstrip that they come in with imports. So these are all Gerber daisies coming from Canada. There's roses and amaranthus and bells of Ireland and it's just all packed like this. And you know what it is? This is a special way of packing. It's all dry packed. As far as you can see in here, there's flowers down every aisle, aisle there. And it's just like people are working around with the bees. How's it going? Like right, check it out in here. Here we are. It just keeps going and going and going. Of just boxes all around me. You wouldn't think that it's that much actual science to packing a flower, but it's more so experience. Experiencing of loss. Trying to figure out the problem before it ever evolves. So arrive alive, exactly as it says. It arrives a lot. <laughs> Literally the best name for it. But yeah, this was packed at our farm. Probably this was done a few days ago by now. Check this out. So this is the, the sponge? Yeah. Wow. Crazy, right? Yeah. Pulls a lot of moisture.